I have a question for conservatives, Republicans, right-wingers, Trump supporters, blah, 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 Second Amendment defenders, uh, who stock up on AR-15s, AK-47s, assault weapons, Colt Commandos, M4s, all that, uh, who, and people, and specifically those who say, oh, we're keeping because we're, because we keep, uh, we got rise up against government in case they get tyrannical on us. Where the fuck are y'all now? Trump is being tyrannical against Americans, shooting protesters. Obviously not fatally, but they're but with the rubber bullets. With rubber bullets, it's supposed to be shot all at the ground and it's supposed to bounce back. So therefore, it hurts less and does less bodily damage. But they're arresting people. He is attacking peaceful protesters. He is using tyranny and fascism. Why aren't y'all rising up? Oh wait. I know, because y'all are fucking hypocrites. Because he's attacking, because Trump, one, is your dear leader, and y'all would kill your child if he asked you to do it. Don't say, and don't try to tell me you won't, because I won't believe you. But also because he's attacking people you disagree, people you don't like. You know, left-wing people and the media. Oh, but y'all are so fucking hypocrites. You are so fucking partisan because he's your guy and he's attacking left-wing people who are protesting him and the police and journalists. Y'all are silent. Let me tell you something. If I was to own an AR-15, which thank God I'm not, but let's say I did. I want to be clear. I thought the those Tea Part the Obama era Tea Party it. People were fucking idiots. I thought they were stupid because they were all like, "Oh yes, we we uh want the we uh defend the Affordable Care Act, but we want to get rid of Obamacare." They want to cut spending, but they don't want to cut spending at the same time. They don't want to cut. They want to. They don't want to cut Social Security, and they don't want to cut uh military spending either. It's like, where do you want? These people are. They, they were idiots. They were just. They were just idiot racists who didn't like Obama. Some racists, some partisan idiots, some just nutcases who felt important wearing literal tricorn hats with tea bags on their heads like fucking idiots. I thought they were idiots. But if Obama had uh, started using the same tactics on the uh, Tea Partiers that uh, that Trump is using against peaceful protesters now. You bet your ass I would have been calling out Obama because I'm not some Obama sycophant. I'm not a sycophant for him. Even if Bernie did it, I would call him out on it. Because unlike a lot of you Republicans, conservatives, right-wingers, gun nuts, whatever you want to call yourselves, I'm not, I don't play for a team. I, I do, I, I stick to my ideology. I stick to my principles. If Obama had used fascist tactics, and I know some of you do, but he wasn't. He was, he was a horrible president, but not, in the, but not for the way right-wingers say, um, I'm so sorry for showing off so much. How indecent of me. But, uh, if he did, I would have called him out on it. I would have said the same thing to that I am saying Trump. Fuck him. Uh, by the way, I say fuck him all the time to my mama for different reasons. But the point is, y'all are being hypocrites. You know why you get those AR-15s? Because you are overcompensating for a little something. Because you got a small dick. And for women who don't have dicks, you're doing it because you feel powerless. I don't. It's all a power. It's power overcompensating because you feel powerless because either you have a small dick or simply because, um, okay, I'm short or, well, to be fair, my, my friend says that, um, I'm actually average and people who are six feet or like him, he calls himself a freak of nature. You do it because you feel weak. Because you got a small dick, or for someone like me, they would do it because I'm shorter than most people are. Most people are taller than me. I mean, I got some people who are shorter than me, but mostly I feel short sometimes. I, that's one of my insecurities, is I'm a little bit short. It's all about, you know, overcompensating for your insecurities. Because if you actually stood up to the federal government, then maybe I'd be like, well, maybe they got a point. But but y'all but silence... About the fascist tactics being used by Trump and his police, including kidnapping people with uh, feds who are have uh, are marked other than maybe federal police, and basically saying if you follow us, you will get shot. 
and doing preemptive arrests. Y'all silence on that proves my point. Y'all are having these weapons simply to overcompensate for your insecurities. And you are all partisan hypocrites. I'm not encouraging violence, but if one gun gun toting redneck had shown up and said, Hey, I may not like these leftist socialist Kenyan Nazi whatever. Even if you were spewing Marx um just these bullshit terms, even but you still say it's like I'm opposed to this and we will not let you take over then it'd be like Okay. Then they're being principled about it. But no, just crickets from you. Unfortunately, America has become so partisan and so divided. If it's happening to the other team that I don't like, they don't care. And I know, I know there are a lot of people on the left who would do the same. I know that, yes, I'm aware of that, but I'm um, not me. Not progressives. Progressives are consistent with their beliefs. If it's bad against us, it's bad when it's done against them. Because unlike, um... The regressive left, the the woke left, and basically all of the right wing. Progressives aren't fucking hypocrites. Except uh, Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren's like the one progressive who's a hypocrite. But you know, you're, you're always going to have one. I'm going to go to bed after I eat some granola. I'm hungry. And also Kamala got picked. We just had this thing about about uh, defunding the police and reforming cops, and Biden chooses a fucking cop. Hashtag Kamala is a cop. It sort of reminds me of um, the, the one rap video done by Shoe and Head, which is... Oh, Joe Biden is a hawk. Kamala is a cop. This party is a circus. Trump has got the Yeah. You know... I mean, I do think Biden might win. I'm not saying he will, not saying he won't. As I, I will always say until maybe the day before. I'll, I'll bang the gavel one the day before. But even then. But right wingers, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna say an ideology of yours, stick to it, even if it affects people you don't like. Just stop being hypocrites, okay? I would defend your rights. If you were being targeted by a fascist Democrat, I would side with you. I wouldn't side with your principles, I would, but I would side with your right to, exp to protest, even if I think what you're protesting is absolute horseshit. Like, I think um, you people constantly defend, thinking that we need to uh, uphold uphold family values and uh, oh, uh, that lack of restraint makes businesses better and that corporations will just solve everything. And y'all's constant defense of the rich and y'all's constant thinking that we need to implement Christianity into our laws. I, look, I think your ideas are horrible. But I defend your right to um, express them. And I defend your right to uh, protest against what you think is unjust. Even if I think you're fucking stupid. Because I'm not a hypocrite. I'm consistent. If I believe in freedom of speech is absolute, then that's what I believe. No matter who it, no matter who's using it. Consistency, right wingers. Consistency. Consistency, not hypocrisy. Not, oh, I have a belief, but it only applies to us. And if you're talking, and if you talk about, oh, well, this person's being here, we're not talking, I'm talking about you. Two wrongs don't make a right. It's sort of like a, like, I criticize Trump for it, and people say, oh, well, Obama did it. Well, fuck Obama for doing that. Like, if it's like, oh, well, like, uh, uh. Like a Trump uh, putting people in cages or droning people, be like, "Well, Obama did both of those." Well, fuck him too. This isn't a this. We, we need to stop this whole oh, defend my party in a tech. Party. If it's wrong for Trump to do it, it's wrong for Obama to do it. If you say that, then yeah, we agree. If it's wrong for Trump to do it, I mean, if it's wrong for Obama to do it, it's wrong for Trump to do it, and vice versa. Oh, uh, my autism is going on. Um, I can't even fucking pronounce, say the word, um, but you get my point is, I'm not here for playing a team, 
I'm not here defending a team. I'm here defending my values. Which is freedom of speech should be absolute. And if you're going to say we collect these guns to keep the federal government from getting tyrannical on us, then actually stick to it. And I want to be clear to any FBI, CIA, whoever is watching. I'm not calling to violence. I'm just calling right-wingers out for hypocrisy. That's all I'm saying. But if anyone from the federal government is watching, fuck you. I'm still anti-federalist. Fuck them. Why? Because fuck them, that's why. Anyway. I'm going to go to bed now. Stay awesome. Stay progressive. And may the force be with you. Stop saying that!